Waking Up with... <laughs> Shivraj Prashant, your host on Good, Good Morning, Morning Grammar. Grammar. This Thursday, we got a theatrical episode all the way from Abu Dhabi. Let's listen in. English homophones are one of the most confusing parts of the language. There are hundreds of them, they all sound the same and their spellings generally aren't that different either. Such is the case with today's words, bear, B-E-A-R versus B-A-R-E. Not only do these words by themselves confuse us, but they are also found in many different English phrases which further leaves us unsure of which word to use. I am Malni Kumar, working in a leading private healthcare sector, Abu Dhabi. I want to talk about the correct spelling and uses of the English phrase, bear with me. I will give you a simple trick to remember the difference between the two. So, how do you spell this popular phrase bear, B-E-A-R and B-A-R-E? In order to fully understand why this is the case, we need to understand what each word individually means. B-E-A-R means to carry or to bring. So, when it's functioning as a noun, it indicates a large omnivorous animal. Clearly, this isn't the relevant meaning for the phrase at hand, so it must have something to do with the verb bear, B-E-A-R. What does this bear with me mean? The reason there's so much confusion around this phrase is because people sometimes forget about the verb bear, B-E-A-R. They contrast bear with B-A-R-E and think to themselves. Surely, this phrase isn't about big hairy mammals, so they automatically pick the other word B-A-R-E. Here's why that's a mistake. Now, bear, B-A-R-E means naked or uncovered. Bear is an adjective and is defined as lacking the usual or appropriate covering, naked, for example. He was bare from the waist up in the pool. While bear with me is a request for patience or tolerance, bear with me would be an invitation to undress, which is clearly not the intended meaning. If you can remember this simple trick, you will be set. I'm Malni Kumar, signing off. You too can feature on any episode by sending in your request or feedback with a voice message on WhatsApp on plus 91 962 547 5442 or via email at shivraj at brevis.in. We'd be happy to read out your message here or even play it on an entire Friday special episode. Have a good day and stay tuned for another fresh episode of Good Morning Grammar.